Today I'm continuing my what to do with discarded sourdough starter series and I'm going to show you how to make pancakes using just discarded sourdough starter, no extra flour. Hi sweet friends, I'm Mary and welcome to Mary's Nest. I'm a former New York City girl, now living the simple life with my husband here in the Texas Hill Country. And this channel is all about cooking from scratch, living naturally, and creating a cozy home with charming thrift store finds. So if you're like me and you want to live the simple life, subscribe to my channel and be sure to click on the little notification bell below that'll let you know every time I upload a new video. Tonight we're having pancakes for supper and so I thought I'd bring you along while I make them. And I'm going to make them using just my discarded sourdough starter. I hesitated saying that I got to get the hang of it, discarded sourdough starter. Well this is my sourdough starter and that's my first cup uh, that I'm putting in here and I'll get ready to feed this starter tonight. So I would have had to have discarded some of this, but I'm not going to. I'm going to make good use of it. Alrighty, that's my second cup. The first thing you're going to need is two tablespoons of melted butter, or you can use coconut oil if you prefer. And you're also going to need two tablespoons of honey, or any other sweetener that you like to use. You can certainly use maple syrup, or you can use the dried cane juice if you prefer using that. Then you're also going to want to use two eggs, a half a teaspoon of salt, and then in here I've got a teaspoon of baking soda and a teaspoon of baking powder. Now the baking soda is a leavening agent and so is the baking powder and that'll help uh, to make nice light fluffy pancakes in addition to the sourdough, uh, the sourdough starter that also is in itself a leavening agent. And the nice thing about adding some baking soda is if your sour, uh, sourdough starter is particularly sour, the baking soda will help uh, soften that sourness and make it less sour. Now my butter is melted and it's cooled, so that's uh, that's what I'm, I'm going. But I'm still going to go ahead and add it in first and just mix it in, just so that we don't cook the eggs. But I think it'll be okay because it's pretty uh, it's pretty cool. And next I'm going to go in and add my honey. I'm just going to eyeball this, but you want about two tablespoons. This is a nice rich dark honey, but you can again use anything that you want, any kind of sweetener you want. And now we'll go ahead and add in the eggs. And we're just going to do the two eggs. And now we're going to go ahead and add in our salt. And then we're going to give this a good mix. Now we're going to wait on adding, adding in our leavening agents because the minute we add them it's going to really foam up. And now we'll go ahead and add in the baking soda and the baking powder. Yeah, it's getting a little, little foamy. <laughs> Alrighty, just get that nicely mixed. Well this batter really foams up as you can see. And now what I've got is my cast iron pan and I've got some melted butter in there and I've got it on a medium heat and bringing that up to temp and then I'm going to just pour in some batter and once I get the batter in there I'm going to turn it down to a low setting while it cooks. Now I just want to mention before I do that uh, you can add pretty much anything you want to this, um, like cinnamon or fruit or anything like that. So feel free to add that in, but for this purpose I just wanted to show you the very basic recipe. Alrighty, well let's put in a scoop of this. Woo, I made a mess. <laughs> Never wear a party dress. <laughs> Alrighty, well now I'm just going to turn this down to low and I'm going to let that cook and when I see some bumbles forming on the top, I'll give it a flip. Well I've got some nice bubbles forming on the top, so we'll get ready to flip it. Pretty good. <laughs> Look at this lovely sourdough pancake. And I love, I don't know if you can see, it's got all sort of dotted with little holes since the batter was so bubbly. But it was just as light as air when I took it out of the frying pan. So we'll cut it now in the middle. Oh my gosh, it feels so light just cutting into it. And I just want to show you the center. Oh look at this, look at this beautiful light fluffy pancake and it's so light just picking it up. It's still quite warm, but I hope that you can see that, how light that is. If you'd like more recipes for what to do with your discarded sourdough starter, be sure to subscribe to my channel and then click on this video over here where I show you how to make flatbread using discarded sourdough starter. And I'll see you over there in my Texas Hill Country kitchen. Love and God bless. Mmm, delicious. <laughs>